Yeah. We're going to uh, start over again and create something like this model from scratch, but I, I just wanted to show you this working first. And uh, so last week we examined the process of drawing a picture in the, the background, this black window, which is called the graphics window, drawing a picture there by um, coloring in the little patches. And here is a picture of the screen. I guess I, I can't make this one bigger. Uh, this shows that the patch in the center of the graphics window has the labels 0, 0. And uh, down in the lower left corner, mm -hmm. the coordinates are minus 16 Sorry, and minus 16. Easy. And mm -hmm. in the upper right corner, plus 16 and plus 16. And uh, this indicates that there are rows of 33 patches and uh, columns of 33 patches and that adds up all together to, to something Online like a, a thousand. Okay. There are seven other callers on the call. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's so, joining us. <laughs> uh, yes. That was us. Uh, I, I don't see someone else on my list right now. Um, yeah, I don't know then. I see Barbara and Deborah twice. Okay, so I pushed the setup button, and then what appeared here in the middle of the screen is this arrow. This is a default turtle. Okay, and now we're going to try a drawing, leaving all the patches black, and making a drawing using this turtle only. And this is an imitation of the original logo program that Heather had learned as a child in which you have a turtle that has a pen and you can command that turtle to drop the pen or raise the pen. When the pen is dropped and the turtle moves uh, the pen draws a line. So by raising and lowering the pen and moving the turtle about you can draw anything. And the turtle moves uh, in the original logo program, the turtle only moves forward. So if you want to move in different directions, you have to rotate the turtle. Using rotate and move forward and raise and lower the pen, you can draw anything. Okay? So <coughs> I've got a step here is uh, move forward by one patch unit. So if I keep on moving forward, eventually the turtle will reach the top of the screen and then what happens? Disappears off the top and reappears on the bottom. You see, because the top and the bottom are identified as a cylinder. Now I put buttons here so that I can rotate the turtle by 15 degree increments. So it takes six rotation steps to turn 90 degrees and then now let me drop the pen and step some more. Okay. I think we, we're seeing a freeze frame right now, Ralph. We're still with a turtle in the middle of the screen. It moved once. You it moved. It took a couple of steps. Okay. So there's a latency, you mean, in the uh, internet. No You're too far yeah. away. What can I say? <laughs> The weather is fine in California. It's beautiful in New York, too. <laughs> um, well, I'm going to um, minimize the movements then. So here's one okay. step, and you tell me. I'm going to do three steps. Step, step, All step, right. and then you tell me when you see them, okay? Okay. One, two, three. No. Nothing. Gary's got it. No. Gary, you see it? <laughs> no. Now. Got it. A no. It moved. No. You just want it to move. Come on, Turtle. No. My dog wants to join the conversation. Come on, puppy. <laughs> oh, she's talking. She doesn't want to be left out. She wants to catch that turtle. Um, I have to show you how 
a piece of code results in a turtle moving. And okay. I, I can't do that if, um, I'm gonna try this experiment again. Okay, I'm gonna drop the pen mm -hmm. and I'm gonna for go forward 10 steps as fast as I can. And then you're gonna tell me when you see the turtle has moved up toward the top of the screen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hi. Nothing yet. For? Oh, there it is. Now it went. For? Can we see a line behind it? Yeah. Ah, you that see the line works. behind it. Huh? Okay, yep. well, you've got the idea. Now I'm going to rotate. Come up here. You need to be in 430 study hall. Rotate uh, six steps and uh, go forward another 10 steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you're going to see two lines at a right angle. We see it pointed, ready to go, but it hasn't run yet. <coughs> well, that's something. Uh, I think we're just going to have to be patient. Okay. And then uh, we're going to switch to a new style pretty soon where you will be uh, following my instructions with your own logo model on your own screen. And uh, this sense. will be good only if each person is sitting in front of their own laptop. So let's plan on that for next week, okay? Okay. And uh, so that's the way we usually teach in the computer lab, each person sitting at a workstation and following instructions, seeing the result of what they do on their own screen. So we're going to uh, try to work this out between today and next Wednesday so that we can yeah, I mean, I think want, want to I be think able to use. Yes, go ahead, Patty. I think it makes sense that each group has a, has a screen up with Go2 and then the other computers that you're working off of simultaneously, which you almost all have your other computers with you so that you can run it through and work off of that. Would that make sense mm -hmm. to everyone? So come with multiple computers. Hey, we just saw the right corner. It just took a turn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the screen changed for us. Uh, okay, I'm going to show you the code. Let's see if you can uh, read this. Is this type is large enough to read? Say that one more time. Uh, can you read where it says to set up? We see a setup button. Oh, yeah, now it's coming yep. up. Now we see it. Yep. Mm. Yeah. The code is up now. Yeah. You don't see it? Huh. No. It's up on my screen. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why. Uh, you know, I have um, a box with six video windows in it, and I'm pretty much seeing all of your videos uh, in real time without a serious delay. So I don't understand why the one window, uh, which is my presenter window, is uh, so slow for you. And I think we need to find a way around that. I'm going to call GoToMeeting. The box popped up. I will go to GoToMeeting and see what I can find out. They might be able to help us. Their helpline. Yeah. Well, we might... Uh, we might want to use a different technology for the uh, projection. Anyway, uh, Patty and I will be working on that during this week, okay? See if we can uh, f figure this out because mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know what to do if I can't uh, show you instant changes on my presenter screen. So here it says to set up. Here it says we have a CA, uh, clear, clear all. And that is the only command that we had in the setup procedure last week. And this week we have two commands in the setup procedure. One is clear all, C A, and the other is C R T one, which means create one turtle. And that one turtle appears as the red arrowhead or triangle in the graphics window that we've seen. Mm -hmm. When you create a turtle in that logo, it might point in any random direction and uh, will have some default size, which is very small, and uh, default color. 
So I want to control those things. So after create one turtle, I have inside these square brackets three commands. One is set heading to zero. That means point due north. Mm -hmm. Set size three. That means pretty much large enough so you can see it there. And set color red. Mm -hmm. Now the color of the turtle is going to be the same as the color of the pen when we say drop pen. Mm -hmm. So if you want to draw a yellow line then we'll say, uh, ask this turtle, which is called turtle zero, ask this turtle to set color yellow. That's one way to change color. Another way might be is to have two turtles, one with a red pen and the other with a yellow pen. Then here it says to step. Do you see my, is my cursor visible that I'm waving it around? Yes. To step, yeah, yeah. Yeah. so uh, ask turtle zero to do something. The something is inside the square brackets, and the something is forward one. That means one patch size. So jump ahead one patch size. And then the drop pen button asks the turtle to do a PD, which is that means pen down, put your pen down. And to raise the pen, you ask turtle zero PU, or pen up. And to rotate, you ask turtle zero to set the heading, which is the direction of pointing zero degrees is north. And by adding 15 degrees to the current heading, that increments the heading by 15 degrees. So that would be a turn clockwise by one sixth of a right angle. And uh, this number 15 could be anything you please. But I just chose this increment makes it easy to draw a square or a hexagon and so on. And to turn the other way, rotate counterclockwise, ask turtle zero to set the heading to the current heading minus 15 degrees. That's all we've got here. And uh, that would allow us, I'm going to leave it to you to try this out.